That's good. I'm glad. No right. short jokes. Right now, Dean's flying. These are the six new recruits from the Winnipeg Rifles that will be putting on the brown and gold of the Manitoba Bisons this year. I'm, I'm here with head coach Brian Doby. And Brian, all on the offensive side of things, is, was that kind of what you were looking for and addressing that need for your team? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you, first of all, you start with the signing last week of, of Ryan Marsh, who we feel is the, is the best thrower in the nation at quarterback. And, and now this week, um, moving into, into the six guys we introduced today, I mean, really, that's seven, seven offensive starters out of their 12 starters. That's a real statement to their team. And yes, uh, it, it, it does meet a lot of needs. Uh, we graduated three starting receivers at Manitoba. Um, I knew that, you know, before we even started the season, I knew that, of course, uh, what our eligibility status was. And uh, we certainly began recruiting these guys over the past year. Um, it was a lot of work. Uh, you know, they, they're outstanding players and they're be, being recruited by a lot of universities around the country. And, and, and uh, we, we, had to, we had to do our work without, without a doubt to, to show them that the fit that Manitoba could be would be a perfect fit for them and, and the reasons why. The new stadium, uh, they'll be in the first group to ever play a game, college football game in that stadium. Uh, you know, that's, that's really something. And then to stay home, they've represented uh, Winnipeg and the province of Manitoba athletically all these years coming out of high school or, or midget programs that they were in, move into the rifles program where they've lit it up. They've been so, so great uh, in that program and now they move on to their home university, the Bisons, and um, it's a perfect fit. We really needed these players. Need was the word, not just want, need. Can you talk about the, the three receivers? You talked about the three that were graduating. Talk about the three that you've uh, brought in from the Rifles to kind of help bolster the offense that with Dembski, LaFrance, and Coombs is now starting to turn into a real juggernaut. It really is. It's a young offense, which is part of my sell to these guys. I, I think if you talk to any one of them, they, that you'll get that from them. Part of the sell was th these guys all have four and five years of eligibility left. That, that's, that was big. Uh, you're right. Dembski, Coombs, and LaFrance in that backfield, Wow, now you, 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 got, you add to the receivers that we just added to today with the guys that we have. Now you add on Derek Dean at six foot seven. Uh, you know, a massive inside receiver, and he fits a very specific need within our offense. Uh, Alex Vitt, uh, an all Canadian in, in the Canadian Junior Football League this year, he is a, a workaholic who, who dives after, goes after every football, gets a hand on anything. If, he's gonna, if there's a ball to be caught, he's going to do everything he can to catch it. Um, and then on the outside, uh, Matt LaRiviere, uh, you know, six foot four, six foot five receiver, uh, who, aside from being tall, has great leaping ability. I think, I really think in recruiting him, I said it to him, and I think he really can affect our red zone uh, this year, our red zone play, having a big uh, mismatch out there at, at wide out, at, you know, over to the boundary or, or whatever, wherever we use them. Um, yeah, they, they, they answer the bell without a doubt with our recruiting needs for sure. And you talk about a six foot seven receiver. I'm six foot four, six foot five with the hair flip. So add another two inches, and that's the kind yeah. of receiver that you're going to see out for the Manitoba Bisons. And the last thing I'll get you to talk about is uh, we talked about Dembski and LaFrance and Coombs, but they need guys opening holes for them. And you got two offensive linemen in this group that can do that. Well, absolutely. First, I'll start with the fullback, Brian Giesbrick. Uh, you know, we're gr it's great to have him out of River East High, uh, River East Collegiate, uh, my daughter's school. I had to say that. So, uh, <laughs> but you know, of course, fullback with the rifles, and and he'll you know, come in and challenge for, for that spot and as an outstanding blocker uh, and athlete coming out of the backfield. But you're right, Nevin Gamblin and, and uh, Alex McKay, two uh, big boys. Uh, Alex, uh, Alex is 6'5", uh, 295, 300. Nevin, Nevin is 6'6", 320. Uh, they're, and they're athletic. You take a look at, uh, they've got flat stomachs. They're, they're, we're not talking 320 pounds of of unwanted weight. <laughs> We're talking guys that live in the weight room, guys that are committed, guys that are committed um, to being the best that they can at their position. They're working for it. And that's all you can ask in anybody. And, and uh, I can tell you right now that uh, Keenan LaFrance, Nick Dembski, and Anthony Coombs uh, are going to be ecstatic on, on, on when they hear this signing, without a doubt. And so will the fans of the Manitoba Bisons. If you want to see all the stats about all the players that were recruited today, go bisons.ca is where you can go and you check out the football team and you can check out all those stats. For Shaw TV, I'm Mitchell Clinton.